all about trying to graphically demonstrate the horrific experiences of the common soldier in combat. <clears throat> and it's only when you look at the effects of these weapons on, for instance, actual flesh, that you truly sympathise with what they went through. Ribs have gone in, stomach has been burst. He's finished. I'm the weapons man. We're going to take the weapons and we're going to use them properly. We're going to see what they can actually do. That, without a doubt, is a fatal wound. I'm really looking forward to getting hands-on, you know, looking at these weapons and seeing how advanced they were for their time. We're going to look at the past, look at the evidence. Let the bodies of the fallen tell their own story. These were not normal war wounds. They had been overkilled. And it's clear from these injuries that there was an element of viciousness. If the business of death wasn't gruesome enough, the efforts to save the dying and injured could be just as brutal and barbaric. If used in excess, it causes violent insanity. OK, that's a great side effect. <laughs> think amputations and festering wounds and burning flesh. This is the reality of war. Give in to the pain. Faint. The sooner you lie still, the sooner you can cut straight. Oh. You're trying to show sheer violence of close quarter fighting, of that close quarter combat. Maybe prove a few legends correct, dispel a few, who knows.